In this video, I'm going to give a very brief summary on what wavelengths and nanometers mean in relation to lasers and laser pointers. Now, I'm going to try to keep this video relatively short, but each of the topics I'm going to talk about in this video, you can go very, very far in depth on them. There's probably universities that offer entire semester courses on these topics. I'm just going to try to give you a very summarized version if you are new to lasers and you're wondering what that little NM means when you're looking at various lasers, what wavelength means, I'm going to try to summarize this very briefly. So to understand wavelengths, you need to understand light. Light is traveling energy composed of electric and magnetic fields, and it behaves like a wave. So this is a good way to visualize it right here. You see those squiggly lines at the very top. That's going to represent your energy, your light. Now, all of those little waves, those squiggly lines, the waves are not the same distance apart as you'll notice. Some are closer together and some are further apart. This is your wavelength, the distance between two peaks. This is measured in nanometers, which is one billionth of a meter. And this wavelength measurement is important because this is what determines the color of your laser. So the full range of various wavelengths is known as the electromagnetic spectrum, which you're seeing right here. And on this electromagnetic spectrum, not all of the light is visible to the human eye. In fact, only a small portion is, and that portion is the wavelengths that measure between 400 nanometers and 700 nanometers. If we go any lower than 400 nanometers, we start getting into things like X-rays and ultraviolet light. And if we go higher than 700 nanometers, we get into infrared light, microwaves, radio waves, these are invisible forms of light, so chances are if you're watching this video as it relates to lasers, you're probably going to be looking for the visible spectrum of light, that 400 nanometer to 700 nanometer range. So that's what I'm going to now continue to talk about. So if we dive into this visible spectrum of light between 400 and 700 nanometers, we have the various colors that you're going to find your typical laser pointers, and here are some diagrams of what those wavelengths might look like. The lower wavelength numbers, obviously the waves are going to be tighter because the peaks are not as far apart. And then as you get to the higher numbers, you get to waves that are further apart. And I'm going to show you some examples of some of the colors of laser pointers that you're commonly going to find in the hobby. If you start at the bottom of the spectrum, you have your violet lasers that are 405 nanometers. And then as you climb, you have your blue laser pointers, your deep blue 445, 450 nanometer lasers. And then as you continue to go up, you have 473, 488 nanometer lasers. That's more of a light sky blue. As we continue to climb, we're going to see lasers that are 515, 520 nanometers. These are more of a forest green color. And then you're going to see 532 nanometer, which is more of a lime green color. And this makes up the majority of green lasers sold online. They're very easy to manufacture. They cost next to nothing. You can get a 532 nanometer laser for less than $5. So this one you see very, very commonly. As we continue to climb, we get into a very thin sliver of yellow gold lasers. These are going to be 589 nanometer or 593 nanometer most commonly. And then as we get into the 600 range, we see 635 nanometer lasers that are in orangish red. And then we commonly see 650 nanometer lasers. These are the traditional red lasers that you see very, very often. So all of those numbers that I just rattled off for you, those are the laser colors, the laser wavelengths that you most commonly see in the hobby. Now, there's a bunch that are out there that I didn't list, and there's new technology coming out constantly. New diodes are being made that can produce new wavelengths, new colors. But those are the ones you're going to see most commonly. So there's one last topic I want to discuss. In that visible spectrum from 400 to 700, not all lasers are equal. Not all lasers are equally visible to the human eye. There is a peak visibility, and this graph represents it right here. So the human eye perceives light and brightness of light differently in dark conditions versus light conditions. In dark conditions, we call this scotopic vision, and in light conditions, we call this photopic vision. So imagine nighttime and daylight. At nighttime, you see that tall peak right there and the wavelength numbers on the bottom of the graph. This is the wavelengths and how visible they are in dark conditions like nighttime. And then that shorter peak right there is going to be how we perceive these various wavelengths in lighter conditions like daytime. So if you were going to be operating a laser in dark conditions, 507 nanometers would be the most visible to the human eye if you were comparing lasers that were all the same strength and power. 
And if you were comparing lasers during daylight conditions or just light conditions in general, you're going to be looking at 555 nanometers for the peak visibility to the human eye. And as you can see, we get a lot more visibility to the human eye in scotopic vision than we do in photopic vision. So technically speaking, 507 nanometers is going to be the brightest and most visible to the human eye under dark conditions. But what does this all mean? This means that your green lasers are going to be the brightest, most visible to the human eye. And 532 nanometers, which actually falls right between those two peaks and is also a very, very cheap wavelength to buy for lasers. You can get them for next to nothing online. That is going to be what you're going to want to go with, generally speaking, if you're looking for the most bang for your buck with visibility in lasers. It's also very close to both of the peaks in scotopic and photopic vision. So I hope that summarizes some of the information as far as what wavelength means and what nanometers mean for laser pointers. For anyone curious what wavelengths the lasers are in this example footage right here, from left to right you're looking at 405 nanometers, 445 nanometers, 532 nanometers, 589 nanometers, and 638 nanometers. If you found this video helpful in any way, hit that like button down below. And if you're new to my channel and you want to see a lot of great laser videos just like this one, hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.